Now I'm going to explain the rest of the maths to you tomorrow and the day after when you are supposed to do it. But now I'm going to explain the English to you, the first part of the English work you're going to do. And that is to do with parts of sentences. And then it says at the top, what is a clause? Here we've got a sentence. So the sentence, and I want you to read it along with me, it says, Michael hurt his knee in the playground. Now you have to underline the verb. We've done lots of work on verbs before. Verbs are doing words. So in this case, it would be hurt. You need to underline hurt and circle the nouns. Nouns are names of things. And we've done lots of work on nouns as well. So in this case, we have Michael, a noun, and knee is a noun, and playground is a noun. Can you do one B yourself? What are the nouns and which is the verb? 2A, we have a mistakey sentence, a sentence that has lots of mistakes in that you will have to fix. Remember, you can put capital letters, you can put full stops in this sentence to make it work. Thirdly, it says tick the main clause below that makes sense on its own. Some of these make sense, some of these don't, and I want you to read alongside me. So, A, the dog could think about it. Does that make sense on its own? Second, the dog barked. Does that make sense on its own? Think about what barked means. It's a type of noise. And C, the dog was. Does that make sense on its own? Which one do you tick? Which one makes sense on its own? Thirdly, true or false, the clause below is a main clause. That means, does it make sense? Does it make sense on its own? And read it with me. Our cow ran away. Does that make sense on its own? Or does it not make sense on its own? That's what you need to do today for your English and your maths work. If you do have any questions, I will be talking to you in the morning. And um, I'm sure you won't have any questions because I've explained it perfectly. But if you do, that's what we need to do. Bye-bye and see you tomorrow.